Hi drummers, it's Mr. Y, obviously. Uh, this is 164 for the finals this year. This one I think might be the easiest one of the finals. All you have to really have on this one is a really good command of double strokes. Uh, but the rhythms it's themselves are really very easy. There's no dynamics on this one at all, so you don't have to worry about that. Kind of a kind of a kind of a gimme almost this one. Uh, but you do have to have the double strokes down. Remember, when you have a top, that's just one stroke on the drum. When you have a buzz stroke, you let it bounce as many times as you want until it's done, you know, five, six, seven bounces. When you do a double stroke, you're hitting the drum once and letting it bounce once. That is distinctive, by the way, from hitting the drum twice. That's two taps, okay, two single strokes. That's not what you want here. You want to hit it once and let it bounce once. You can hear the difference if you're really subtle about it, if you listen really carefully. Um, for 164, I do have a specified tempo. I want you to play it. That's 120 beats a minute, the standard march tempo. Okay. If you do it at that tempo, you're not going to be able to do single strokes. It's going to be too fast. So, for instance, at the beginning of 164, you can see I messed up on the double strokes just a little bit in the second line. You probably want to do it a little slower at first, just to get really good. Etc. that kind of thing. Make sure, though, that you don't practice it with two taps, you know, tap, taps, uh, right, right, left, with the two taps on the right hand. The two rights in a row or the two lefts in the row on the second hand need to be double strokes. So, double tap two and double tap two, double tap two and double tap two. Not single tap, not two single taps, but double tap two and, okay? Obviously follow the sticking to second line. Whoops, sorry, uh, I did it backwards. Second line. Okay, remember when you're doing a double stroke, if you want to control the bounce, a really good way to do that is your middle finger. You want to have your middle finger on the stick so that you can control it, make it exactly the right uh, speed, but also be able to get, it, get your stick up in time so that it doesn't hit a third. You're going to want to practice that really carefully with both hands first. I would do single hand at a time, like I'm doing right now. First the right hand for a while, then the left hand for a while, then combine the two. Until so you can get it really consistently all the time. Then maybe speed it up. Obviously that's your ultimate drum roll right there bunch of double strokes look back to back okay but anyway 164 like I said probably the easiest one in the whole four uh, I think that's probably going to be the easiest one probably you want to start out with that one it'll also help you get a good grasp of the uh, the double strokes which you need for all the other finals too so this is probably the fundamental one to go with okay good luck